how is that uh, different or comparable to PMP? I would say that uh, this is a personal opinion. I don't think there is a better or a worse methodology or best practice in the world for project management. There is the best practice that is more appropriate for your project, for your need. So, for example, if you run in a project that is IT to develop the software, maybe using the PMBOK or other, other best practices might be more appropriate for that. If you run in a project that is focused on community development, social change, project you probably might be better appropriate. One interesting case, I was talking to, the, to a person from Habitat for Humanity in an informal conversation, and they developed, they, they build houses. So Project Pro might be the, the, uh, the methodology for assessing the community needs and design how the change will affect that community. But at the moment that the houses are building, the, the building houses, maybe a technique that comes from a different best practice or methodology might be more appropriate. So I would like to hear from you, John and you, Tina, how do, what, if, what you think about that comparison or about different methodologies that we see in, in available for professionals. Yeah, my, my, my own view is, is, is very similar, building on what you said. I mean, the Essentials course and Project Depro, they're contextualized. Uh, they're focused on humanitarian response, preparedness, uh, development, which is what we do. And it just makes life a little bit easier. Um, so it, it, it's taking a similar set of tools, techniques, processes, and saying, well, okay, how can we make these work in our context? Not another one, our one. And I mean, still, you're going to have to, again, in your own organizations, you're going to have to contextualize to get them to work best for your own context because they're different. Of course they are. Uh, um, uh, uh, but why make life more difficult? And when you look at something like uh, PMP, the Project Management Professional, or PRINCE2, or the International Project Management Association certifications, which are all really good, they're great. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. As you said, it's, it's not better or worse, but they are generic. They are not focused on our sector. So what we try to do, I mean, I was on the group that wrote the original Project Depro guide, and we just simply try to marry the tools and the techniques, the processes of our sector with the tools, process, and techniques of the profession of project management, just to make life a little bit easier. There is another difference as well, uh, and that is that if you want to do... Um, PMP or PRINCE2, it gets very expensive very quickly. And what I have seen, and I've lead, I have seen this in organizations, so when it costs a lot of money, then the training is often restricted to one or two senior managers. Okay, that's nice for the senior managers, but it doesn't help the project teams on the ground. It doesn't help the implementing partners. And what we need to do, what we wanted to do when we wrote the Project Depro Guide was that we wanted to remove these barriers. We wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to access material and learning which was appropriate for their needs and would help them. You know, basically, it's trying to help good people doing good work do it even better. So those are my, my thoughts there on the similarities and differences. Mm -hmm.